everyone! Today we're creating this birdhouse themed Mother's Day card. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the link in the description where you can get these patterns and print them out. You want to cut them out and then set these pieces aside and we're going to cut out this heart in the birdhouse. An X-Acto knife works best for this, but if you don't have one, you can try using some scissors with a sharp point and just go ahead and cut the heart out. So it looked like this. Next, I'm taking some brown craft paper and I'm folding it, making sure it's wide enough to fit the birdhouse pattern on it. Once it's folded like this, I'm going to place the pattern on it, making sure that this side is right on the fold. Then I'm tracing around the pattern. And I traced around the heart, but you don't need to do that. And then just go ahead and cut it out. And I do want to mention that I also made a coloring page pattern for this card, which would be great for kids to color. And that will also be at the link in the description if you're interested in that. Then once it's cut out, open it up and then just place this pattern on the inside on this side and then trace around the heart here. Then we're going to go ahead and take the X-Acto knife and cut out the heart. Cutting it on the back side will result in a cleaner cut on the front. Just clean up any edges, erase pencil lines, and it should look like this. Next, I'm taking this pattern paper and I'm turning it so the good side is facing down and I'm just going to trace the front of the birdhouse onto that. And it doesn't need to go all the way to the point of the house because this part won't show. Just trace around the pattern. And you'll want to trace around the heart and then cut that out. Then we're taking the X-Acto knife again to cut out the heart. So it looks like this. It should fit on the front of the birdhouse. Just turn it over so the good side is facing down and I'm using this easy tear tape to attach it to the front of the birdhouse and I will link this in the description. If you don't have any of this, you should also be able to use a glue stick or something similar. And I also put some around the heart, just to make sure that the paper stays attached. Then carefully stick the pattern paper in place. So it looked like this. Next, I'm tracing the roof pattern onto some craft paper. And again, I will link all the supplies I can find in the description. And I'm just using that easy tear tape once again to attach the roof to the front of the house. Just press it in place. Next, I'm taking this green ombre paper and I'm turning it so the good side is facing down and I'm using these stem patterns. You don't need to use the pattern if you don't want to, you can just cut your own, but I just use the first one kind of as a guideline. So I cut five of those, and then I just use the fence to decide where to position them, and line them up. And then I use a glue stick to attach them. Next, I took that green paper once again and I traced the leaf pattern onto it and I cut five of these. And don't worry if they're not perfect. And 
I cut those out and then I just used the glue stick to attach them. So it looked like this. Next I traced the fence pattern onto some cream colored cardstock. And then I cut it out and I used a glue stick to attach it to the front of the card. Placing the glue on the side with the pencil marks. Pressed it in place. And you can cut off these side pieces if you want, but I decided I liked it how it was. Then I took the flower pattern and I traced it five times onto some aqua cardstock. And then I cut those out and attached them to the stems. Then I took a permanent marker that is purple and I made three little dots in the center of each of the flowers just to add some more detail. So it looks like this. And then finally I created this printout that you can place inside the card. So it has two pieces here and just go ahead and cut those out. So this bigger frame is going to be a frame around the message. So I just took that and I traced it onto some aqua cardstock kind of to coordinate with the front of the card. And I cut that out and this message will just go on top. So I'm just going to use some of that tape once again to attach it. Just centered it and pressed it in place. And then you wanna line this up so the mom shows right centered in the heart. And then you can use a pencil to mark where you need to put the square. Once you've done that, use some tape or glue to attach it and just line it up with those marks. And here is the finished card. I hope you enjoyed this birdhouse card tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more from my channel, feel free to subscribe and you can also find me at the links in the description. Have a great day.